here we're building an airfoil. About that thick. Nice big aileron slash flapper on. And this is going to be for this orange airplane over here, up to the side. But I wanted to show you how I came up with this type of a design. And I just use balsa wood since I have a lot of it. I actually have more balsa wood than foam at the moment. So I use that for my spar here and a stiffener right up in there. You just cut the gap out, pull the foam out, glue that in and bend it over on top of itself. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So I've already measured the top across the top of my airplane with the wing slits. And that's six inches, six and a half inches. My aileron here is an inch and, inch and a half. So I'm gonna draw this. Top side first. So we have the inch and a half. Five inches after that. I'm sorry, seven inches after that. The width of the wing is seven inches. We have to cut a little slot out around the fuselage so it so it rubber bands on at six inches versus seven. Let's see when I'm all done. Now, the underside of the wing is going to be five inch fold. So it's going to overlap on the underside of the wing five inches. Here in the center, we'll draw a couple more lines here. One on the inside of the hinge line and one on the outside. We're going to cut Cut that halfway through the foam and peel out the paper and take out the foam right there. So this will be cut and cleaned out. All the way through. Two lines on this side of the hinge line that we're just going to score. So actually, we can just score it now. 
And right about here. And another one about another quarter inch or so. Five millimeter. Three sixteenths, anywhere in that range. We just want to get that nice round fold on the wing, on the wing's leading edge. I just will cut this out now too. This doesn't have to be perfect, but don't go all the way through. You need to ruin your whole piece of foam. two lines on this side of the wing that we will score with our barbecue skewer. And these two lines don't have to be perfect. We're just using them to help get that round edge. Just take my razor blade, score it up a little bit. Makes it easier to clean this little channel out. It's a lot easier actually. So I'm going to clean that channel out. I guess we can score these real quick. You also want to cut. What we'll do here in a second is cut the aileron now. That way, later, it's not a pain to cut. That line got a little bit wrong. wrong. going to be the underside of the wing so we can go ahead and cut that. That way your fold is on the underside of the wing. channel out and we'll be right back. We got my stick cut. I lay that down in here in the groove, glue it first, and then we'll fold this over.
And then we have our edge. And I have my other stick. Take it and line it up. Right here on the edge. Well, you tried to, and one's kind of warped. Just have to do half of the time. Draw a line where it sits. Want it as flush as you can with the foam board. I'm going to come back and glue the stick on before we bend over the top and do that on. Alright, so I'm going to do that and we'll be back. Alright, both wing panels are finished. Got the servos sitting in there for now. I cut my angles here on the edge a little too sharp. So I gotta fix that. Then I'm gonna epoxy the centers together. But the wing panels turned out pretty nice. I think it'll go great on that airplane over there. All right, well, I got my two wing panels built. Turned out really nice. I'm gonna join them together with a little home-built plywood spar, some epoxy, and that ought about do it. wanted to show you what they look like before I glue them together. Turned out really nice. Not bad for foam board. Well, there it is. Turned out pretty nice. Fit together a lot better than I thought it was going to. Almost seamless. Not quite, but almost. So that's 60 inch swing foam board wing. I may take some off on the tips, but turned out pretty nice.